In this video, I'm going to show you how to set your Scala as the audio device inside FL Studio. This means that we'll be able to record inputs through the Scala into FL Studio and listen back to what's playing from FL Studio through either headphones or speakers connected to our Scala. Please make sure that you have your Scala connected to your computer via USB and powered on, and then open FL Studio. Go to Options and audio settings. On a PC, please select Focusrite USB ASIO under ASIO devices. On a Mac, select your Scala under devices. For playback tracking, select hybrid. If you want to change the sample rate of your project, then you can do so just here. You can also adjust the buffer length just here, which is more commonly referred to as buffer size. The buffer size is the time that's given to your software to process and play back the contents of your session. And when I say the contents of your session, I mean the audio and MIDI tracks, plugins and effects in this session. The benefit of using a low buffer size is that you get a lower recording latency. In other words, you get less of a delay between what you're playing or singing and hearing it back in the headphones. The downside of using a low buffer size is that you give your software less time to process the contents of your session, and this can lead to audio dropouts and glitches on playback. The benefit of using a higher buffer size is that you give your software more time to process the content in your session, meaning that you're far less likely to experience audio dropouts and glitches on playback. The downside of setting a higher buffer size is that you get a higher recording latency. However, we'll be tackling the issue of recording latency by using something called direct monitoring, which we'll explain later if you choose to view the recording tutorials. For this reason, we recommend that you use a high buffer size, like 512, which means that you're far less likely to experience audio dropouts and glitches when listening back to your audio than if you had a lower buffer size. Your Scala is now configured as your audio device inside FL Studio. We'll now show you how to start creating music using your Scala inside FL Studio.